A shocking announcement from embattled state school superintendent Ryan Walters today. After a week of turmoil, he called an abrupt news conference this afternoon, and here's what he had to say. The speaker wants to impeach me for political advantage in the 2026 governor's race. So then let's start the impeachment proceedings. Walters made those comments today after a whirlwind week for the Department of Education. News 4 has been covering it all week and we continue with team coverage tonight. We have John Hayes with us and Spencer Humphrey. And Spencer, we're going to be starting with you on the reaction to all of this because this kind of comes from a story you covered last week. Yeah, you know, it really does. You might remember last week uh, we told you about the Oklahoma State Department of Education trying to make, uh, trying to take back money from schools that was meant for school security. And from what we've seen, that really seems to have sparked everything. Let's start the impeachment proceedings. You heard him right. It is time for Oklahomans to have the answers. State Superintendent Ryan Walters ensuring a chaotic week in Oklahoma politics would end only fittingly. I am calling on Speaker McCall and Mark McBride to begin their impeachment proceedings Monday. Calling for his own impeachment. It is time to start the proceedings immediately. Leaving people like Flashpoint analyst and former Oklahoma AG Mike Turpin. Ryan Walters appears to be embracing what I call victimhood. Really to come to just one conclusion. Now, Ryan, what you're doing right now, saying come get me, is political suicide. What got us here today really began last Thursday when I reported Walters and the State Department of Education were trying to deprive schools of funding legislators voted to give them to make security upgrades in the wake of the Uvalde shooting. In an interview with me, State Rep Mark McBride said something. I hate to use the word impeachment. No Oklahoma Republican had ever said. But I, th I think we're getting to that point. As we've told you, that seemed to open the floodgates. I think there's a sense of frustration. Two dozen House Republicans signed on to a letter asking House Speaker Charles McCall to open an investigation that could potentially lead to Walters being impeached. We're accountable to hold our agencies accountable. That is part of our, our job as legislators. So people want accountability. And in my view, accountability should be more than just a buzzword used every couple of years in a campaign. It was looking like their movement had some momentum, but Speaker McCall threw a wrench in those plans, telling them he wouldn't even consider an investigation unless at least 51 Republicans signed on. But then on Thursday, Representative Kevin Wallace announced McCall had given him and other members of the Legislative Office of Fiscal Transparency his blessing to open an investigation not into Walters, but into the Department of Education as a whole. That brings us back to Friday. So I wanted to address you guys all together. When Walters gathered media outside the doors of the Oklahoma House of Representatives to make a special announcement. What you continue to see is incredibly unfortunate for the people of Oklahoma. Focused mostly on just one man. So what we've seen here is a clear political attack. And why are we getting that political attack? Because Charles McCall is more concerned about running for governor in 2026 than taking care of Oklahomans. This is a clear attack on who he views as his biggest political opponent in that governor's race in 2026. He dared Speaker McCall to forget worrying about a fact-finding investigation. Just go ahead and do it. And let's start that impeachment investigation Monday morning. And to that, McCall told Walters, thanks, but no thanks, saying in a statement, I remain steadfast in my position. I will not overturn the will of the people regardless of any demands made. While Superintendent Walters may desire a path toward his own impeachment, my focus is firmly on the loft investigation into the Oklahoma Oklahoma State Department of Education. For Ryan Walters to provoke powerful leadership in his own party is politically unwise to say the least. And that's coming from a man who has seen a thing or two in his half century in Oklahoma politics. The Speaker of the House, Charles McCall, a man of integrity, he's provoking him unnecessarily. I suggest that could be political suicide. To him, it's plainly obvious what Walters is doing. Right now, Ryan Walters appears to be embracing what I call victimhood. I'm a victim. They're all after me. Ryan Walters, hear me now, believe me later, cannot carry Charles McCall's briefcase. Charles McCall served this state with integrity. It's a strategy he says is questionable. 
I have no idea who's advising him, but it breaks my heart for his family. Certainly a gamble. This is a Republican party like a firing squad in a circle, and they're all aimed at one person, Ryan Walters. That Turpin just can't see paying off. And for Ryan Walters to go out of his way to provoke him into an impeachment is political suicide. I do want to mention we also reached out to Representative Mark McBride. He was unavailable. Now, Kevin and Jolene, I've been in this business less than a decade, but I've got to say, as far as covering politics is concerned, I can't say I've ever experienced a week quite as crazy as this. I know you've been doing this longer than me, but I don't 20 know. Twenty years, you know. and I don't a lot longer than me. Well, I, I can only think of the teachers' march on the Capitol yeah, when they demanded a pay raise that you and I covered, yeah. and uh, this is this is something. I mean, it really is.